Hi there. In my last video, I talked about the myth of the friend zone or how if you've been seen as a friend, you absolutely don't have to get stuck there. And if you want to be desired and wanted um, by women, that there actually is a way out. So if you haven't watched that video, I would say go check that one out. It's going to make a lot more sense. And I'm Shana James. I'm a dating and relationship coach and I've been working with men for 15 years. And what I'm really excited about today is to continue with that video because I got a couple of questions that came in after men watched that video. Now, a quick review. The shift I gave to go from being seen as more of a friend to a lover or to a partner is to wake up your body. I know this is a new concept and it may not exactly make sense. So I think these questions are gonna help you understand it more. So the first question I got was, what changed in the man who at first you didn't see as a lover, but then you did? Okay, the way I see our human dynamics is that it, they're like an iceberg, right? And so in an iceberg, you can see the tip above the water, but underneath the water is where most of the iceberg is. I also think about this as the invisible factors of influence. I have a course that talks all about this. And as you wake up the invisible factors of influence that are within you, there's less to do, there's less to say, there's less to prove, right? It's like your, your body actually starts communicating for you rather than just the words you're using. And so what happened in the man whose body woke up, in the man who became my husband and who I at first didn't see as someone I would want to partner with, I just saw him as a friend. Well, he started relating to me from more than just his head. He started having different kinds of conversations. So it wasn't just intellectual, right? It wasn't just questions that were interesting. He started, because his body was more awake, he could feel me. He could attune to me. He could ask me questions because he was noticing something that was a deeper layer inside of me. And he also became more energetic. There was more um, vital energy. There was more life flowing through him. And so as a woman, we're like tuning forks. As human beings, we're like tuning forks. But as a woman, we tend to be really sensitive. And I felt his energy. I felt it in my body. And when you wake up your body, women will feel that around you and they'll attribute it to you because it happens when you're around. So that's a little bit of what happened to him. There's another question I think might clarify this as well. The second question is, are there reasons to wake up my body beyond just being more attractive to women? Absolutely. When you wake up your body, your life experience will become more joyful, more exciting, and also more meaningful because you can have an interesting life through your mind but if you really want to be touched on a deeper level, if you really want to feel like life has meaning, that happens when you experience life through your body and through your emotions. And one thing that men often tell me when they start waking up their body, when they start experiencing life through these parts of them, through their emotions and their heart and through their body, is that life becomes richer and deeper. They have more fulfilling connections with not only romantic people and partners, but with their family, with their colleagues. They also start to have better results in sales and in leadership because when your body's awake, you're tuning into people more and you're noticing the subtleties. You're noticing if someone starts to lean out and you can actually address it instead of being oblivious to it or ignoring it and trying to just talk over it or around it with your mind. Okay, the third question, can you give me an exercise to wake up my body? Yes, okay, so I have a simple exercise for you. Your mind is likely going to negate this and say, oh, it's so simple, it doesn't make any sense. Your mind is not what we're waking up here, right? Your mind is the thing that's normally in control. So what I want you to do is set an alarm, morning, noon, and night, three times a day, and you're just gonna to start to put attention on your body. What that means is you're going to sit, so try it right now. Close your eyes if that helps. You're just gonna to start to feel your feet, okay? This may sound a little weird. Put some attention on your feet. Feel the temperature, feel the pressure, if it's pushing on a chair or the floor or something like that. Feel, is there tingling sensation? Is there um, 
even numbness. Numbness is a sensation, actually. We think of it as, oh, I feel numb, I don't feel anything. If you actually tune into the sensation of numbness, you will feel sensation. Okay, so then you're gonna work your way up your body and you're gonna feel from your feet to your shins and your calves all the way up to your head. You can do this in a minute, you can do it in five, you could even actually expand it to 20, but I would say in the beginning, you know, take one to three minutes to do it. And you could even do it sitting at your office, nobody has to know, right? You could be looking at your computer screen or just focusing on, you know, something in your office no one has to know you're doing it, so they don't have to think, oh, there's a weird thing happening there. You can also do this when you're on a date or when you're with your partner. You can tell your partner you're doing this or tell your date you're doing this, or you don't even have to, right? You could play with it together and be like, okay, let's see what happens. If your partner you think would be open to this or someone you're dating, let's see what happens if we both actually put more attention on our bodies. The second exercise I wanna give you because in working with thousand or even more men at this point, what I found is that a lot of men hold back and kind of stuff their attraction or the sensations that happen when you feel attracted to a woman. And the intention is good. The intention is I want to be respectful. I want to be caring. I don't want to offend someone. Uh, there's nothing offensive about feeling what you're feeling. And when you don't feel it, it actually dulls your life energy and it cuts it off. And that's when women can be around you and feel like, well, he's a nice guy, he could be a great friend, but I'm not feeling that igniting in my body. And so the, the confusion is you could do something disrespectful, you could take an action that's disrespectful, but your feeling itself is not disrespectful. So what I want you to do is start to notice if you see someone and you feel attracted, just let that rush through your body instead of doing whatever you do to try to shut it down, okay? I hope these are helpful. I think that was the last question. Yeah, and I love, I love supporting men to be more confident, more relaxed on dates and with your romantic partner. So if you are struggling at all, book a time. You can click below on the link to my 15 minute session in the calendar. And ultimately, I do this because I know as a woman ally for men, you don't have many places to get answers to your questions. And I really want you to have the love and the passion and the relationships that you want and I believe you deserve. Keep an eye out for my next video and I'll see you soon.